Hey you guys, I know I look like I'm in a weird room, it's because I am. There's one wall, there's the other wall. I'm in a cupboard. <laughs> I have turned into Harry Potter. No, what it is, is I tried filming these videos before and I tried doing them in my room and the room I'm in in Derby is a bit bigger than the room I usually do them in and it's very echoey, meaning you could barely hear me it was more reverberation, I think that's the right word. So hopefully this is going to sound better and I can actually upload this. I'm in my comfy stuff that says I love you, because I love you. And today I have a to reread list. So not a to be read, a to reread, because I need to reread some stuff, because I miss it and I'm being nostalgic this autumn time. So I'm gonna go straight into it with a series. I've only got two of the series here at the moment. I've got the last two. And this is the Demon Trapper series by Janet Oliver. Said that right? Yep, said that right. And I've only got the third and fourth book at the moment because I finished the first one, finished reading it about a week ago, and I let a friend borrow it. And the second one is sitting on the stairs and I can't be able to go get it. So I'm just going to leave with these two. The covers are very pretty. That one's the last one. That one's the third one. And people kept saying, every time I carried this around at school, everyone kept saying I looked like the girl in the picture. No, I don't go. But it's a really good series. Um, I'll summarise it for you. Two years in the future. So 2018 in Atlanta, USA, and the world has been taken over by Hellspawn and demons and stuff like that. They've not can take, taken complete rule, they're just a bit like pests. So demons are now pests for like rats and pigeons. And there are trappers and then there's killers. The hunters are part of the Vatican, so they come and they think Hellspawn, shoot it. Trappers catch them, sell them to a trafficker, and the trafficker takes them to a church where they get prayed until they, on until they turn to dust. So they still die, but you get paid for it instead. And it's where a girl called Ryo Blackthorn is trying to make her way in this world of being a demon trapper, and everything doesn't go to plan, basically. It's a very good series. It's not talked about enough. Dan Oliver has done a different book I think it was a retelling of Sleeping Beauty or Alice in Wonderland, I'm not sure, but that one got a lot more notice in the reading world and I feel like these books got kicked to the curb and they shouldn't have. These are a great series, hence why I'm rereading for about the third time and just I urge you to please, God, go read these. It's just such a good series. The next book in this to be read, to be reread series is Fallen by Lauren Kate. Or, yeah, Lauren Kate. I was gonna say Laura Kate. I'm rereading this because recently the film trailer came out and the film trailer was meant to have, well, the film was meant to come out, I think last year, and it got delayed for, I have no idea why. I've not actually been following it actively, but I did know that a series, a movie was being made and now that it's come to light, I do want to reread this, then go on to watch the trailer again, because there's bits about the trailer that I thought, hmm, I don't know whether that's true to the book or not true to the book. I don't know whether I like that or not, because I don't know whether it works with the series. Is it just something they've made up or what? So I need to reread it before the movie comes out, so then I actually remember what's happening. Because I read this a couple of years ago, and I did thoroughly enjoy it, though I did not finish the series due to the fact that it was a bit... Mm. I got spoiled for the third book, I think it was, and I just couldn't read it. It's just like, oh, I know what this person is, I know who it is, I know what's going to happen, whatever, so I couldn't read it. But I hope that reading this will spark my love for it again, and I will read the rest of the series, because I can't actually remember who was who now, so... That's always good. That's my next one in my DBR list. DBRR list. The next one in my to be reread list is 
All the Bright Places by Jennifer Neve. This book is close to my heart, not only because I'm holding it on my chest, but because it's a great book. I love this book so damn much. It's a contemporary novel. If you don't know what it is, I'm not going to tell you here. I'm going to direct you down below to where there will be a link to my booktube about this lovely book. Ah, so many tears. And I feel like also it's perfect for October and just autumn. I don't know why. It's just something about adventure and self-discovery and shit like that. But this book is just perfect. It screams autumn to me. So I'm really looking, to re looking forward to reread it. Actually, this is the last TBR because I did leave a book behind that I was meant to have in this list. That's all for this video. I hope you enjoy. I'm sorry if it's weird that I am sitting in a cupboard, but like I said, I'm Harry Potter for the day and for the next couple of videos. <laughs> so what you gotta do now is you gotta like, comment down below on if you've read these books, if you wanna read these books, just general books you'd love to reread and you're going to or you are or you have so yeah do that and subscribe to this channel because I know I haven't been here for a while and I'm sorry I'm going to try and make my videos more consistent and better and just hopefully unput my subscriber list because I do love doing these videos it's just housing situation and stuff that I showed in my tiny little video earlier uh, earlier on this month, I think it was, no, last month, doesn't, ugh, just, yeah, so, I'm gonna go read a book, bye guys. <laughs>